I so next topic. Um, Dave Chappelle is back in the news, and uh, Chappelle show premiered on HBO Max and Netflix a few weeks ago, and I watched it <laughs> again because it's fucking hilarious. Uh, and then he and put then, out. Then you yelled at. And then, in, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, by Dave Chappelle. Oh, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. He yelled. He called me and yelled he at me. Called, he, called his, he called everyone and said, "Yo, yo, yo, yo come here, come here, come here. What are you doing?" Relax. Um, he revealed on a on an IGTV special that he wasn't getting paid for uh, these re-airings of Chappelle Show, which is fucked up, which is extremely fucked up. It is his art. It's his inte- intellectual property. However, the contract he signed with Comedy Central way back in the day doesn't give him the right. I guess like financial compensation. <clears throat> When it's replayed, just based off the con- off the contract that he signed, and he actively wants people to boycott watching Chappelle's show, and I'm conflicted when it comes you know, to this stuff. You know, because, as you were breaking this, I I, uh-huh. I knew your stance already. Really, I knew that you weren't. I knew that you weren't on board fully with with boycotting. Because absolutely is, not. Yeah, I, I, it didn't sound like it. And, no. and and I'm I'm almost right there with you. Continue. I'm conflicted because I consider myself a creator. Mm-hmm. I consider us, you know, creative. Mm-hmm. And um, I wouldn't want my work and the stuff that I put time, blood, sweat, tears into to, you know, benefit somebody else financially and not me. Right. So I get that. I understand that. For sure. But I also understand life is life and life is about contracts. And even if a, if a contract's fucked up, you should change it. I, I, I totally believe that. But I'm also a fan, and I think Dave Chappelle is hilarious. And I think Chappelle's show, when you watch it now, you understand so much of that shit you cannot do today on television. Like, you can't yeah. do the nigger family, like, on television. Yeah, you can't yeah, do the yeah. piss on you video on television right now. And he was doing that yeah. every single week on Comedy Central. Pioneer, and it was hilarious, Pioneer. and it was groundbreaking, and it was dope. And it was him. It was, it was, it was Chappelle, right? So I feel like if I feel like watching the Chappelle show, I'm going to watch it. You know, but I, I do understand where he's coming from, and he and Netflix should take it down because Netflix is partnered with Chappelle. Hey man, here's here's what I'll say. It's okay, bro, bro. Dave, Dave, Dave ain't going no thing. <laughs> Cause I was thinking about the same shit the other day, right? Uh huh. <laughs> because I was like, I didn't grow up watching Dave Chappelle, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, because you know, conservative Christian home, Dave Chappelle was just <laughs> the devil. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> Wasn't able to uh, really, I missed that part of the childhood. So for me, mm-hmm. it was going to be really dope to kind of like circle back on that. And so then like I saw like all like my friends who are creatives, like post yeah. this in stance with, with Dave. And I mean, listen, man, I was thinking about it and I was like, ah, oh, do I, what do I do? Do I just wait till he gets his? And I'm like, ah, I am one in a billion. And to be completely honest. That's an ugly face, but that's how I feel. To be completely honest, also, we talk about, we listen to these different, like, media outlets and these people that are at a certain level of clout, right? Like, Chappelle is at a different, in a different stratosphere in the compensation he demands for his performance, for his appearance, for his, uh, for his talent. Not everybody's there. Yeah, actually. Chappelle can turn down deals. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. Take the deal, sign the contract, and get to the place where you are, Chappelle, to the point where people actually think your work is good enough to want to profit from and screw you out of it. Right. Because at that point, you don't need that. Big so we can't, like, I'm not going to be here and be like, I stand in solidarity because me and Dave Chappelle have so much in common. Yeah, honestly, Dave, here's And so much I can relate to. No, I no, don't. No. No, Dave, here's the truth, but big dog, listen, I hear you. Um, I think that whole contract thing is shitty, right? But I got some real problems going on, and I would love to laugh. So I'm going to watch the fucking Chappelle show, okay? And thank you very much, and I hope everything goes well. But you have millions. So as you send out the IGTV blast, like, it's okay. And I get your fight, and I respect your fight. But I got to get these laughs, bro, because it was a rough day. And that's I how under- I feel. And, 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 and beyond it, even... Beyond even the money, because Dave Chappelle's value is not in his wealth, it's in his talent. And his talent it. I love it, is on like it's undeniable, right? His storytelling is dope. His storytelling is legendary his storytelling at this point in time. 
because he's I, grown and transitioned into what he is now, and that's dope, and I love it. Can I share something with you? Yeah. So I because I like comedy and me and and I interesting relationship, right? Like I'm not like a kind of we're gonna t- touch on Kevin Hart in a little bit, which is a perfect segue. Wow, bow. So anyway, I kind of struggle with like feeling forced to laugh because it's comedy. I like to mm-hmm. just sit down and appreciate what the fuck is going on. As someone who wants to be in entertainment, I like looking at the art. So mm-hmm. what I really appreciate about Dave Chappelle is that the way he tells stories are very low pressure for laughing. Like you don't, it's going to be funny. You don't have to wait for the punch. It's just, yeah. like he's just, he's just so good that it's not like, do I laugh now? Like it's just like, yo, if you find that shit funny, it's funny. If it's not, it's not. But something will stick. You know what yeah, I mean, I'm just telling you this really funny story, and I, I just love it. I, I watched it. I think, you know, his his messaging was great. Um, I think his fight is is the fight that for all creatives, um, but it's a lesson not all. for all, not for all, but I think it's a lesson for all creatives, creatives on his level. Creatives, on not his all levels. creatives. Take I that think, deal, niggas. Take that deal. Sign that contract. Trev, Trev. You're not Dave Chappelle. You're not. I'm just gonna be real. You're you not Dave take, Chappelle. You can't. You can't. I think he's not saying you can't just take every deal though. When one, when you have no, you, you can. If one person wants you, if one person says, "Hey, sign this contract for a year. I'm gonna pay you shit. I'm gonna pay you a hundred thousand dollars for a year. But after this, you know, you get this is your residual, and this is what the company gets. Let's say you, and you're not you're negotiating against yourself if nobody else wants your services or your talent. And that's what most creatives are in the are in the place of now. Most creatives see, that posted that video, contract. no, most creatives that posted that video, I stand in solidarity with Dave Chappelle. Don't have people fighting over them like people fight over Dave Chappelle's services or talent. Take the fucking deal, and Trevor. use your talent and your confidence, just like Dave Chappelle did, to increase your value to the point where that's not a deal you have to take anymore. I do agree. I do agree, to a certain extent. I, I do agree, but I I do also believe that you shouldn't um, just take anything. No, you shouldn't. You know, and, but, and I, th- and I but think you, that's. And I think you should that's take just, something. I, no, you should take something. <laughs> I think you should take something. And I think you should know your worth. I think you should know your value. I think you yes. should know what you bring to the table. I think you should stand for what you like is true to your messaging too. Like you don't want to just compromise. It's just cool to know your. It's cool to know your value, but your value is what you're being paid. Your value is what you're being offered. That's what your value is. I can know my value. I can know I have great content. I can know our videos look good. I can know our quality is dope. And I'm and I'm and, and I'm comfortable in knowing that. And I'm also comforting comfortable in knowing that not many people might not value like might value this the way that I do. And I'm cool with that. I'm confident. I'm confident in my talent and my ability. So I'm cool with that. Right. But your value is what people offer you and what you get paid. That's it. It's a real black and white thing. The nuance comes in the confidence you have in your content, the confidence that gives you the energy to get up and go, even though you might not be compensated or compensated, which you feel like you should be. But you still put your art out and you still put 100 percent into it because that's just who you are as a person. That's where the real value comes. And that's what's more important than what people value you as. Right. So that's the comfort I have in doing this. So I can't stand in solidarity with Dave Chappelle or Joe Budden or anybody else who's out here turning down deals. I can't because I'm not in their position. I'd yeah. love to be in their position one day, but I'm not there right now. So I got to speak from my perspective of being a fan. I respect that. That's it. I respect that. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. We're definitely not in their boat. Not in the boat. Now it's okay. The, hey, but when the deal comes, make sure I see that contract because I am not. <laughs> you better make sure I got my vacation time in there. Buddy. You better make sure I get the check. <laughs> Absolutely. All I mean, right. let's, like, of course, you don't, let's like, just like you don't take any job. Yeah, You don't for just sure. take any offer. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Smart, that's, that's just, man. Be smart, that's just man. real life shit. Absolutely. For sure. Be smart, but also understand, like, just because you follow these niggas on Instagram or listen to them frequently, you're not in the same position. You are not fighting the same fight. It's you can not get there. the same. You, can get there, but... you absolutely can, but. It's it's not different the levels. same, very different, different levels. levels. 